Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of I Shouldn't Have Said That. I'm Sarah, and today's episode is about body positivity and all things fitness, health, and just being super positive to your body. This week, we went to the gym. Suburban Prince was there. Our executive, Coyce, was there. We just had a really fun time with my trainer, Chris. Thank you, Royal Personal Training, for letting us use your space. We also have a special guest this week. Laron is here to talk about his body positive journey and just self-love, self-care, and what he he does and we have a lot to get into I can't wait for y'all to see this content so let's get into it personal training about to work out as you guys know fitness and health is my life most times but I'm here with Sir Bourbon Prince what's up Blake, my co-host and my executive producer Croyce but we also have my trainer Chris how's it going how's it going everyone <laughs> Come <Chris. laughs> let's go um yeah so we're gonna get after it today I'm gonna put everyone through a good workout here gonna put the crew through a nice workout um, we're gonna get a good sweat and we're gonna keep it high pace most importantly we're gonna keep it safe and functional so shout out Royal personal training for letting us use the facility again here um, let's go step up on a straight line through the handle here to the other side we're gonna make sure we keep our chest tall and our core tight here show you a couple reps here big exhales I drive the heels down push the hips forward and again we're gonna go ahead and get 12 reps of that let's go ahead and keep it high pace as we step up into a knee lunge and we'll step off the box back into a reverse lunge, okay? Following that, we again, we'll take a look at med ball slam here. We're gonna go 10 slams there. We'll go through four sets to start, and um, <laughs> we're gonna have some fun here. So we're gonna do these, drop it like it's uh, hot. You're gonna drop, yes. Yeah. Send the lunges, step down into Are we, the this is like a, this right is, into it. Yeah, yeah so, we're going. So we wanna keep the pace high here, right? Oh, so wow. I've done this before. I just wasn't as fat before, so this is all new to me. We gonna get in there like swimwear and booty hair. Yeah, so, so let's go ahead and we what, just, well, what we can do modify it as well, right? So yes. rather than going into that reverse lunge, um, we'll just step up on the box and kind of step it right back down here. And we'll just go for 12 reps of that on each side as well. All right, great. That sound cool? Yep. Let's go. All right. Go. Three. Jesus. Four. Okay, drive through the heels here. Know. Good Seven. Okay. I got six here for y'all. Let's go. Six. We got six more. Okay. Seven. Okay, drive with the heels. Eight. Drive heels down. <laughs> Nine, why am I the only one here? So again, let's go ahead and step up here. I'm driving that knee straight back down here, okay? Here we go. I got you. Are we doing it right? Yes, sir. Drive that knee. Or is it the right one, girl? Okay. Do we do the other leg? Are we alternating or is it just like while we're just together? You know what? We're hitting. I saw you guys hitting the same one. So let's go ahead and finish that. That's it. And then we'll go ahead and switch over to the other side. Okay, so we're switching over to the other side. Yeah, yeah, So we're doing each leg 12, right? we're doing it. Correct. Okay. Excellent. So again, we got the med ball slams here behind y'all here. Make sure we drive this guy down into the ground. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're focusing on that hinge so we can slam it down. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll switch with you. Okay. Yeah, he'll switch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll. Who's you got? I got a 12. I got a 12. I'll switch with you right here. Got we, got the, we got the six. We got the eight here. We got to the ground here. Yeah. Go. Let's go. Okay. This one's about Ten of them. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sure Mike loves that. And relax. I got my ass showing and no. all. I can see we got some huffing and puffing here. That's okay. That's just me um, walking. When we're walking, hey, breath. when we're working, we're definitely working, but I want to make sure we take a look at that rest period as well here, right? So. You want a sip of water? Yes, please. I got it. Hey, we're, we're, li we're live. We're, we're very live. Bo, what? So uh, look behind you. <laughs> Rise right. up, young buck. Rise oh, up. Real. Come on now, come on now. Just give me five. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, just a little so winded. Sure okay. I had a Philly okay. cheese steak. I didn't know we were going this hard. All right. Here we go. I'm comfortable. Okay. Whew. I don't want you to feel no pressure for them. I don't even. This is about you. Yes, right. it's all. Yo. Right. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's just God. This is about you. Here you go, crowd. All right. One. Five. Okay. 
Oh, oh, wait, I gotta do that okay. next. Now we gotta do the oh, right leg. Ready, bro? Own pace. Come on, man. I need you to do you. Okay, see, please. When I help him. We'll go 12 reps on one side. One. I've gotta get my head in the game, coach. Oh. It's hot. It is on. I got it. Woo. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let me get 10. I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, I had two 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 shakes before I got here. Two what? I thought we was gonna like jogging on a treadmill or some shit. We over here acting like you saying bolt. Get ready for the Olympics. Ah. Let me get a couple more. Six. I don't even know where I can I hit the medicine. I did it. Let me get the last one. Excellent. This is a lot. Let's go. We haven't done anything that you guys aren't capable of doing. You're right. So, okay. I'm proud of y'all. No, two Thank sets. you, Sarah. Two, two sets Thank is fine, you. though, right? Two sets. Two sets is okay? Okay. Five, six, put Five, that on my own. Oh. Mama. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Ah. 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 You can. What are you guys <laughs> doing? Yeah. You know, <laughs> damn water? Why? You know how amazing you guys are just for showing up here? Amen. Thank you. Just getting here is an accomplishment even it if you is. if you do like the Just bare minimum in the here. gym yeah it is an accomplishment it is. you need to get your booty nah, in the gym yeah. as we speak you can listen it to it in your headphones while while you run on the treadmill girl. this is good i think we did a good job <laughs> everything was good today y'all oh we're, we're not, not done, done. <laughs> we're not done well she right making a speech like we finished the video i thought we were done <laughs> We're gonna start um, on push up here. So, whether that's this kind or on our knees, that's okay. We'll go slow on the way down. Big exhales. I drive up here. Again, we're looking for 10 to 12 of those. Again, we'll alternate. So, we're gonna go 15 of these on each side. So, 30 total. And then we're also gonna push the sled here. Two of you guys are gonna start on the sled. Two of you guys are gonna start on the dead push up. There needs to be a balance skinny and fat. Me, you want me to go first? Yeah, that is crazy. We're gonna go ahead and push it all the way down here. Okay, good. <laughs> Nice strong march. So where are we? Stay up here. Let's go. Get it down there. Come on. Hustle it down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. We'll go ahead and switch you up here now. Go, 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 go. So we're going opposite on right opposite there. Right. Opposite on. Opposite I got, right. I got you. I love you. On, on that push here, Sarah. Let's see you. Excellent. Come on. 11. Ooh, stop. Five more. <laughs> okay, yeah. Stop. Let me take a five break. Five break. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> nice, consistent drive. Let's see you. Let's see you. Let's see you. Let's go. Why not fuck with me in this position? <laughs> what? Okay, this is the last thing. This is our last segment. Let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. Handle tight to your body, and we're gonna sidestep here. It's important that we don't like lean into it. Try and let your legs um, determine where you're going. And we're just gonna sidestep back. We're gonna do reps of five on each side for two sets. Again, we're slowly gonna bring that back here. Keep that. Going. <laughs> That's a discussion we can have, you know, after the workout, you know? Come on, Bo. Come on. We got I, it. I don't need a cheerleader. I don't need a cheerleader. <laughs> Great. I got Jesus Christ. We both got to do it together. What are you doing? Yeah, one more set. Come back. Come on, Biggie. Come on. <laughs> Should night like for real. I know Big Paul over here is not calling nobody Biggie. All right? I might be big, but this is a walrus. So, <laughs> so let's calm down. All right? Cut around Big Shaquille O'Neal and let's just let's play. I'm gonna slow down, Let me see you both. Let's go. Control on the way back. Control on the way back. Side step, nice and easy. Nice, good control here. Well, it's only three steps. Yeah, I think you next year. I'm confused, but hey. Yay! Uh, you guys overall, I think we learned some things here, maybe stuff we haven't done before, but you guys exactly. gave it your best shot. Um, it was like your favorite. Exactly. Shot, so I think everybody put an equal effort for it. Honestly. But you know, Shiraz looking at me it crazy because she either. knows I love her, so. Oh, wow. Of course I'm the favorite. Listen. And listen. I'm the second.
Um, <laughs> but yeah, everybody everybody did a good job today. Um, but like I said, the biggest takeaway is making sure that everybody knows they're capable of putting the work in. Exactly. To get, to get yeah. Exactly. Because so, um, once you know that you're capable, determination, nothing can beat it. Nothing right, right. needed. Okay, so we want to thank RPT for lending us their facilities. We had a blast and we really want to thank Chris thank for you, giving us you. his time and energy and his kindness. And to Bo hey, and Croy. Uh, 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 yes. And your favorite hosts. Yes, yes. Again, we just want to shout out Royal Personal Training for letting us train at their facilities. We just thank you guys so much for letting us use your space. It's such a magical gym. If you're ever in the lookout for a gym, I promise you. This is the best this one This is yet, it. For real. We just want to thank Chris for, for training us so well today and pushing us. We had a great time. We had a great time. Let's get into it again. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Bo. Thanks, Troy. Thanks, Frank. And thank you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> so we are here with the infamous influencer mr lebron what's going on y'all <laughs> it's me lebron i'm here <laughs> so today's episode is about body positivity and we have watched you on social media you know your fitness and health and i, I see your stories so right I, 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 we'd be at the gym around the same time so yeah i'd be, I'd be like okay, okay around 11 a.m around, yeah time. exactly okay. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so we wanted to ask you a couple of questions about your journey and and you know, your relationship with food or your body and just how you keep yourself active and healthy. Our first question is, you know, what was your relationship like with your body growing up? Were you, I know I was really overweight as a, a yes. kid and you know, it, it hurt a lot to get bullied for it, but ultimately I gained a lot of confidence and self-worth being like taught to be okay with something that society deems as like. <laughs> you know, really and truly it was the same for me. Um, I wasn't necessarily bullied. I think because I was so big, people were scared to bully me. Oh. But, um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but like, what it really was is just, like, you kind of do feel like a bit of separation from the rest of the world. It's almost as if you segregate yourself in a way, like, mentally. You mm. may not be physically away from everyone, but, like, mentally you feel like you're not a part of the crowd yeah. or, like, a part of anyone. Like, you can be, like, in the middle of people, but you still feel like you're not if that makes any sense. Like, yeah. Did you ever have to like over like compensate for things? Like for me, you know, like being a teenager and being overweight or, you know, being bigger than my friends, I would like over sexualize myself to like get the smallest attention from a dude or like, you know, just like, just, I had to overcompensate. So like a lot of people say, well, you know, she's this, but she had the biggest personality in the room. Did yeah. you get what I'm saying? Did you ever feel like you had to do a lot to like? I did too. I think that's why I'm always deemed as people's funniest friend. Okay. I'm always deemed, like I, I've put a lot into like the way I dress and everything too, mm -hmm. just to kind of take off focus from that. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's just one of the few many things. I mean, you do, you sing and yeah. like, that's probably a, one of the reasons why I try to do a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. sing, act, dance, we'll do it. Cause like, it takes the attention from what it's like, you know, like and the elephant in the room, I guess you could say, yeah. And it's so annoying that that's what it is. That yes. that is like the elephant in the room. And like literally, it can just be you as a human. Yes. And that's something that I always preach. And I hate that, like, when people just don't look at a human being as a human as a being. Human, exactly. Yeah, it, no, it's I just, feel that. it's just annoying. But I know that we've had, or you grew up, you know, kind of similar parallel to me. Um, what made me start is that I got extremely sick. And so I wanted to start eating really right and working out and talking to nutritionists and stuff. But what made you start? Or was there like a, oh my God, moment where you're like, let's just, you know, get into the gym and eat. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. really and truly for me, I can't place an exact moment. It was like really during the pandemic, I just kind of took mm -hmm. time to like focus on self. Right. And like, you know get myself in a better place mentally. And when I was in a better place mentally, I kind of felt like I was able to attack it in a way of, I'm doing this for me. Yeah. This is something that I want for myself. This is not something I'm doing just because so-and-so called me fat in the third grade. Like I'm not doing yeah. that for those like kind of reasons, you know? Mm -hmm. It was really one of those things where I kind of just had to take a step back and realize this is something that I'm doing for me and for the betterment of my life as opposed to what other people are telling me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I completely understand. Like um, not, changing your life is different than wanting to lose just 30 pounds and calling it a day. Exactly. It's, the way I see it is that nobody can really pinpoint somebody and say that they're healthy or not. Exactly. Because somebody can be 102 pounds and somebody can be 330 pounds and the 102 pounds is sick as a dog. Sick, exactly. Like, like, do you get what I'm saying? You can't no, like pinpoint you can't. somebody's health. So for me, I really just 
said, I, I, I can't look at the scale. And that's like something that I want y'all to know too, is that that scale can be your best friend, but it really is an enemy sometimes. <laughs> and it's an enemy for me yes. still, like going on that scale, it, like my heart drops every time I step on it. Mine too. Like it's like the worst feeling to like be on the scale. And like, I just have to say like, that number does not define who you are. It in, doesn't. At all. At all. But it still sucks. It's, no, it's still <laughs> something to get used to. I get it 100%. Like, the other day, I was like, oh, that's three extra pounds that was not there two days ago. What is going on? Here? Like, you know, you, no, you're you going to have those little moments, but it's just like you. No, yeah. You it's, just got to take it on the chain and keep moving. You know? Right. And I just appreciate you opening up about, you know, your journey and, and fitness and all the things that you do. So how many times, how many times a week do you like? Like, what's your advice? Like, how many times a week you work out? What's your meal prep? Do you meal prep? Do you, like, cook? Yes. Do you... Okay. So let, let's get into the, the regimen. Okay. okay. We're going to get into the regime. <laughs> okay. The regime of it all. Okay. Okay. So um, for me, you don't got to work out as much as me. I, I don't recommend people working out as much as me because I work out six times a week. I, every day but Sunday. Oh. So I work out every day but Sunday. And um, basically, I've heard a lot about Pilates recently. So and good. You think it's good? I literally like Pilates. Like people would think it's like a girl thing to That's do. That's my thing. Like I was like, okay, I don't want to be in a room full of stay-at-home moms. It's, I was just no, a no, little, no. Yeah. It, there are a lot of women that go to Pilates. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie to you, but it is. I've seen like a couple go, and it's like really cute, and you know, yeah. it's a little bit like you have to be very vulnerable in Pilates. You're like opening your legs and like doing yeah. like crazy things. So it's like, but it really helps. Like it. It toned me up so fast. Like within a month, like I was cutting a lot of like carbs and stuff, and like all of a sudden I was trying to get really toned for something that I was doing. Did Pilates for a month straight. I had like definition all in my legs. Like my little waist was like. She said the Tina like, Turner legs. Okay. <laughs> right. I was like, oh my god. But try Pilates. I okay, promise man. you, it's really good, guys. Try Pilates. Like it guys, is... that's our 2024 um, slogan. We're okay. trying Pilates. Try Pilates. Yes. But yeah, so go out with your regiment. So you work out six times. So what's your like daily meal? Like what's your favorite meal? Oh, healthy gosh. meal and then unhealthy. Let's okay. do that. Healthy meal. I don't know if this is like considered healthy because it's still like eating out. But like I get this Cobb salad and I like love it every single time. From my like, restaurant. Joey on Willow Hill. Jo oh my God. Joey's oh. is so, their chicken parmesan is bomb though. But yes. okay. Cobb salad. The Cobb salad is fire. Unhealthy meal. I love me a good Chick-fil-A tender. That is Okay. That that is going that is going to hold me down. I'm with him. My when I'm eating really good, the one thing I really want is is McDonald's. I really yes. want a cheeseburger. Like that's what I want. That's from real though. That's real. Like I don't know what I love McDonald's. I don't eat it like yes. that much. But when I eat it, I'm like I either want chicken nuggets or a cheeseburger. You know, like that one McDonald's that's like by the um by Calabasas. Like yes, right by, that one that's is like the best one. That is the best one ever yeah. created. I don't care what anybody has to say. It's the best one. That's real, and it's like right down the street from my house. So I'm Mine like, too. <laughs> no, it's it's so good. But um, what are you what are you doing next? That, yes. Okay. Well, that now we that now that the strike is officially over, <laughs> there is a movie coming out very soon. It's called Starstruck. I am starring in this. I'm super excited for this project. It has. It was like the perfect project for me because I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm acting, I'm singing, singing. I'm dancing, and it's like, it just made so much sense for me, you know? So I'm super excited for this project to um, debut. Great director, great producers attached, and I'm just super excited. The cast is amazing. I'm excited for it. What yes. Can you say the company that you were in? It's, um, so um, the director's Jamal Hill. He did A Brotherly Love with okay. Kiki Palmer and uh -huh. Corey Hardrick. And then um, Manny Haley Productions is the producer, so um, it's a... Super excited for this project. Super duper excited. Oh my god! Yes. It's coming out next year. Coming, yes, it's coming out next year. Okay, we're, yes. we're gonna look for that. Any music coming? Mm -hmm. Music is in the works. Okay, we're having having a couple little hiccups, but we're back. Okay, we're back in the studio. <laughs> okay, you, good. You, you know, you, you know, it, it'd be hiccups every now I, and then. Always, yes. I'm always. the main one to know that. But yes. <laughs> um, I'm glad. I'm glad. And then you know, I know you regularly post on TikToks. Yes. We love you on there. Yes, thank you. Um, but. Yeah, we're just excited for everything that you're doing. And I just thank you for talking about your journey and your life with us here today. Thank you, LaRon, for we're coming here. on. <laughs> All right, Alex and Blake, let's do our recap. Okay, guys, so how do we feel about the gym? Oh, it was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. I, you know, I saw it from birds. I view. Didn't want to participate. Not that mm. I didn't want to participate. Nonetheless, <laughs> I think you guys really honed in on the body. 
I think I think we would have done really good on, on like the the Disney Channel games. Okay, Me, you, I feel that. We done I that. feel that. Thank you. You know, we did have Bo this episode come uh. and our <laughs> suburban prince to y'all. He came and um, joined us in the gym. Also, our executive producer, Mr. Chris Allen. Chris Allen. Chris Allen, he came, and we definitely conquered the gym. I'm so <laughs> proud of Chris. Bo, I'm proud of you, too, but he was just... Acting up, cutting up. A menace. <laughs> he was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah. That content is gold. It's gold. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that content, though. Mm-hmm. And then, also, we talked about body positivity today. I know both of you guys... Have your thoughts and you know body positivity is interesting i remember i mean you know i feel like it's come to the forefront of the world quite recently like it's been like a really hot topic yeah um what i can say on my take is i remember when i used to be like fraily like i remember like my butt i could literally see my bones and so now i've stepped into this world where you know thick (laughs) thick, but i'm just healthy and then oh. you're, you have a healthy relationship yes. with with your nutrients, exactly. your food. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, for me, coming from, uh, I mean, like, on the entertainment side, it's difficult because we are in the business of, like, selling our likeness. And so that's, oh, wow. dif- that's difficult because, you know, you, it, it, it is my job to look a certain way. And so when that comes to my job, like that's short, that's fine. Like you know, like that, that's a part of my job. But personally, it's hard to like find a good uh, a good middle, middle place yeah. because it can get a little obsessive. Uh, Have you been in that point? I mean, not not really. It's I've gotten to um, I've gotten to a good place, mm. and it, it hasn't gotten bad. But I can see how if I didn't have like the upbringing that I had, like it could have gotten like really bad. Cause a lot of my friends in college like went through all kinds of disorders and you know, you and know, stuff. That's the thing that people don't talk about either that some things don't necessarily have to be like, like don't self diagnose yourself, but right. you can have like patterns of having a disorder. Yeah. yeah. Like me, I had like crazy, like I never was diagnosed with it, but I thought I had binge eating disorder because I would sit there and eat like tons of food. Yeah. Mm-hmm at one time, like when I was like really upset yeah. or like depressed. Oh, yeah. And I'll never self-diagnose myself, but that's what I definitely felt was I had like some type of binging or even now it's not necessarily, but like sometimes I work so hard that I forget to, to eat. eat. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. like, that's not, that's not like, okay, I have to, I have to feed yeah. and this is why I'm tired right now. Yeah. Shouldn't have said that. I'm so happy that you guys have so many thoughts about body positivity because like normally we think like me, I didn't think that people that look like y'all when I was bigger had any issues like with their bodies. I was just like, I def- I feel like there's a spectrum. There's like there definitely is the obsessive, like compulsive side to it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like uh, again, like being in the entertainment side, even like on the theater side, like it's mm-hmm. it's insane. Like the way that these guys show up to these auditions, like so like so chiseled, it's insane. And and of course. Like in the theater world, you do have to you have to be able to like lift a girl above your head. Like yes, that that that's fine. But the way that people achieve these physiques in the industry is kind of crazy. And, it's uh, just society in general. Hello. It's not even the industry. It's yeah. Giving very much society. So let's rip down those walls. Let's break those. Break those every chain. Hey. Yeah, especially like as as African American, Black people, colored people. I feel like that's a whole other thing because I feel like as a people, we are over sexualized, and that plays For into sure. you know. BBL this, BBL that, you know, it's, hello. It's exhausting. I'm tired from holding y'all up on my back. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely feel like that's a, it's a big thing. And I mean, I'm glad to be in a good place with it. Mm-hmm. How about you? I mean, I've, I'm the healthiest I've been in a second. Amen. So I'm, yeah. I'm just grateful to God, that's all I really care about at this point. I can care two grabs about what my body, well that's not true, I do care about what my body looks like, but that's also something that I have to like unpack, and but what really is important to me is my health, to my blood work, come back correct, do it, you know what I mean? Right, it's definitely well, so um, I don't know, I think being positive towards your body is real body positivity not lying to yourself and like you know just the way that the movement is kind of changing bopo 
or you know all the other movements that are happening like just be supportive and like you know I think very much be supportive because I I think that people think that body positivity means that like you know like of course everyone's beautiful but I think that when people try to you know lose weight gain weight whatever like do whatever they want for their body for them to feel positive about their body people like attack them and I think that you know but it goes the other way too yes something that I experienced actually when I was starting to lose weight not based off of because I, I wanted to look smaller or anything I was I was gonna die if I didn't do it mm-hmm. I experienced a lot of hate from my old community because I used to be in the plus size community mm. where I would be like really accepted and I could wear what I want and everybody loved it and you know that whole side but then when I lost weight it came back at me like so all your fat phobic yeah. you're you're da 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 and, and you left and I'm yeah. like well okay that's great but Fashion Nova can't save me from heart attacks Fashion Nova can't okay. save me from sleep apnea like mm-hmm. I don't know what you guys want me to do like it's either it's either this or that and I'm not losing weight because I don't want to look like y'all no more yeah. I was there for a minute yeah. I'm losing weight because I don't want to look yeah. six foot down yeah. stairs you know yeah. I, I want to be not God not yet, okay? Yeah. But people don't understand that that's being positive towards your body as yeah, well. Absolutely. Is that taking care of your health? Your health is your priority, not your look. Yeah. Exactly. And embracing where you are in that present moment. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, take it day by day. Yeah. And Especially as we're getting older. Yeah. Bodies change, you know. Okay. We ain't 16 no more. Um, Definitely not. Yeah, so, <laughs> Grace. Just some grace. Yeah, that's the word of the day. Grace. Grace. Mm. grace. But mm-hmm. speaking of grace, we're going to let y'all go. I know you've been watching. Period. This is like mm. like the, the fourth episode that you're probably watching, so just subscribe already, Come bro. on, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Okay, and if you see that bell down there, hit, hit it. it. We love you guys so much, and we'll catch you on the next episode of I Should Have Said That. Bye, y'all.